Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to show you what you could get for 14,000 baht a month in Chiang Mai, Thailand, which is on the higher end of the scale of what people will pay monthly because I know a lot of people come to Chiang Mai because they don't want to spend a lot of money, but to me, 14,000 baht isn't a lot, especially if you compare it to living in America where I'm moving to specific in Los Angeles soon. And yeah, this is a serviced apartment, which means they come and clean it once every week. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of the apartment now, and then I'll talk a bit more about it in detail, I'll show you the internet speeds, tell you what the staff are like in the reception, and show you the swimming pool and some various other things as well. So as you walk in to the left, you're gonna have the kitchen space, which has got relatively good amount of kitchen space. You've got the bin there, you've got a tall fridge, and it's quite a newer style fridge as well. It's got a bit of a freezer apartment, compartment in there. You've got this for warming up water if you want to, with boiling water. They also come and give you this water that's in glass bottles every single day. As long as you put the empty bottles outside, they give you some glass, some mugs, a microwave, that's what you want to use. There's no cookers though. I actually have my own portable cookers. And then you have all this space underneath. And in this one, they've got a chopping board with some knives and bowls and plates and spoons. And then you've got more space here if you want to put food items in there. And then if we come into the bathroom, this is what it looks like. And it's got, well, it is a wet room. Quite a relatively big shower, which is really, really nice. You can have it warm or cold. You give these wash products if you want to use them. And yeah, you've got this lovely little thing on the wall as well. Relatively modern in here, the sink, towels, hanger up thing, whatever you call it, I forgot what you call it. And yeah, mirror, if you want to look at the mirror, the toilet, toilet roll, some towels, which they would change every week for you when they clean your room, the bin. And then yeah, if we come out here, this is the living space. And it is a studio apartment, so there's not a separate room. If you want to get one with an extra room, it's 18,000, but I have lived in it before. But yeah, I don't necessarily need a place that big. And then you have this, which is really, really good. The wardrobe, you can hang your clothes up. Got some good storage compartments down there. It's got a safe, which I noticed in the ones where it costs more, or at least the one that I was in, that you didn't get one of these safes, which I actually prefer to have them. They have these chairs, if you want to sit there. Some nice wall hangings, it's a bit good of decoration around. And I really like the look of this place. Really nice bed, it's really comfortable, not too hard, not too soft. Clean bed sheets, multiple different towels, you've got the lamps. And then over here, as you can see, you've got a place where you can work, where I will work. And you've got the TV there, the LCD flat screen TV. And yeah, they tell you about the little gym that they have and the swimming pool, the Wi-Fi password. They can have snacks downstairs to use, sort out taxis and all this as well. And yeah, another little seating area and a mirror. So yeah, as you can see, it is quite a nice place and it's always very, very clean. Like when you come into one of these places, when you just move in and when they clean they do a really good job a lot of places don't and then yeah we're going to come out here which is very very hot and sunny today so yeah brilliant thing about this place is on the doors they have these you can leave the doors open without mosquitoes coming which is really good and it's got a good amount of light in here which is really really nice and then yeah as you see out here quite a large seating area so you can bask out in the sun if you want to, which I love to do and yeah this side is actually on the side where the reception is and the parking space so what I will do if you want one of the sides that is not as noisy which is the one not facing the noisy busy road because the nightlife goes on till quite late here in comparison to America and Europe I will let you know all the different ones that are on the side that is a lot more quiet. I will write it down here. So here are the speed test results. The download speed is around 8 
0.12 megabytes per second. Upload speed is actually faster than download speed, which is normally the other way around with places, which is very strange. But 11.4 megabytes per second, which is really good for me as a YouTuber that uploads almost daily. I must say, sometimes the internet is unreliable, but not for too long. So yeah, it's relatively good download speed and upload speed. Not some of the fastest that I've had, but definitely not the worst but definitely very very suitable for most people and their needs so yeah that's very very good because a lot of places in thailand you'll be out there and there's really really bad for download and upload speed so i'm now at the car park area so as you can see there's my scooter there with the blue helmet on there is a lot of place to park which is a really really good and then yeah if we take a walk through here here is the reception and um, before I show you around here we're first going to go over this way so as you can see it's a really nice lounging area with a swimming pool as well so you can cool down and chill out if you want to and then if we come through here it's a little bit dark in here but you've got a gym it's a very small gym but they've got a lot of free weights there as you can see they've got a running machine here elliptical machine spin bike a couple of machines there for weights yeah if you just want to do a little bit of exercise on that then you can do it here so yeah it's not actually huge but yeah pretty much any gyms that you go to that are at a hotel they're normally not that great or that big and then yeah if you want drinks they have like your alcoholic drinks and your non-alcoholic fizzy drinks and juices and then yeah this is the reception and they have a few different things to sell here in case you're interested in that they've got all the different booklets here for all the different tours and like spas and ATV adventures, elephant sanctuary, like motorbike tours, loads and loads of different things. And what I have to say, this is a very nice looking reception and the staff oh, very, very, very friendly, very, very helpful. They speak really good English because you'll find out a lot of places you go to, especially when you spend less on a place that's a lot cheaper, you're going to find the majority of the time the people that run the place speak hardly any Thai or no Thai whatsoever. And yeah, they're always willing to help you out with everything, any issues you've got. They're very quick to sort things out and yeah, they help you sort out these tours and stuff. And yeah, it's very, very nice. Some of the friendliest um, staff that I've ever, ever seen. And they also have their little restaurant which is included if you're paying like day rates but if not then you have to pay but I'm not sure how much it is but it's pretty pretty nice in here we've got this lovely running water area here I love running water like this it's just so so calming and yeah I have been here for I think now two or three months they used to live in a big one as I mentioned earlier then I moved into a smaller one and yeah I've been in Thailand for almost four years and it is definitely one of the best places that I have ever lived due to all the different factors like the location is very very central to so many popular places like Mayamor, Nim and Haim and this is in the Santi Tam era put a link down below for the website and the Google Maps in case you're interested in it but yeah, I highly, highly recommend this place. And you can contact them online at the Facebook link that I put down below. I'm looking like a ghost now. And yeah, you can arrange things with them through Messenger on Facebook. Or actually, no, if you contact them through there, they're then gonna tell you to contact them for our email, which I'll put the email down below for the contact details for that in case you're interested. And yeah, you don't have to pay any deposit up front, which most places you do and yeah i just really 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 highly recommend this place it's just amazing in every single way 
So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with other people and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So yeah, I hope you enjoy your day, make the most of your day, and yeah, hopefully you're enjoying your time in Thailand or when you do come here, that you enjoy it and the amazing sun and just Thailand in general. So yeah. Keep it real, keep it calm, and see you later. Peace.